What is going on guys? It's Reviews to IJ and welcome to a brand new video and today it's time for the second episode of the Football Manager 2015 Manager Switch Ups videos and I am so sorry for the three month gap between Manager Switch Ups. The last time I did a Manager Switch Ups, this has seemed like a long time ago, Tim Sherwood had just been appointed Aston Villa. Today I'm doing this, Villa had just lost in the FA Cup final, sorry Villa but it was a fantastic game, I enjoyed every minute of it. But anyway, on to this episode, as I say I'm sorry, but there will be coming every Sunday now lads, thank God for that, um, at 7pm, so make sure to check your sub boxes every Sunday at 7pm, and if I don't release one on my one Sunday I'm sure you can shoot me if I don't have a valid excuse. But anyway, let's get into this video, so the second episode is about Newcastle, now so they've nearly got relegated from the Barclays. Premier League this season. Um, luckily, Hull didn't win against Manchester United on the last day, so Newcastle went de um, stayed up. Sorry, um, John Carver is the interim manager at the moment, but the favourite to get the job from John Carver, as John Carver is still in the running to get the job, is actually Stephen Claren. Basically, he was sacked from Derby last week for not getting to the playoffs this year. Now, if you follow the Championship, you've probably noticed, but if you don't follow the Championship, um, I think it was not last season, the season before, they got into the playoff final against QPR. And it was nil-nil until something really bad happened in the last few minutes. Bobby Samora put it in for QPR, and that means Derby just missed out on going up to the Premier League. This year, Derby have been decent in the Championship. However, um, they didn't reach the playoffs, so he got sacked, basically. Um, but Newcastle are in for him, apparently. And um, the manager switch up today is going to be Steve McLaren to Newcastle. Um, and really, I don't know what he's going to do with Newcastle, because obviously, you know, if he gets better than 17th, I'd be happy um, with Steve McLaren. But really, all we've got to do now is just wait, you know, just see what happens in the first season. The rich, he could bring in a couple of players from Derby, from um, clubs he's managed before. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what happens, and I'll see you at the end of this season, or before that, if anything interesting happens, like he gets sacked or something. But I'll see you guys then. Well, it didn't take long, did it? The 28th of December, Steve McLaren has been sacked by the Newcastle chairman, Mike Ashley. Let's be fair, it didn't last long, did it, Steve? Um, but where are they in the Prem? They're actually in 16th, okay. They've won seven games this year, they haven't done too bad. But um, I heard a couple of months back that apparently Papis Cissé was out for the rest of the year. So that's really going to hurt them because, uh, let me just have a look, um, see if I can find him here. Yeah, if you look, he's out for seven to eight months. And that's a crucial striker for um, him. So maybe that was one of the reasons that he got, well, um, that he got sacked, if you like. Um, but let's see why he got sacked, really. Um, if we look at the uh, schedule, they started off, let's have a look how they started. So lot, oh, they started with three nasty lo losses against Leicester, Crystal Palace and Manchester City. And in fact, didn't win till the sixth game against Stoke. Um, and then get a free match on beaten run. Then lost against West Ham, drew against Hull, and then lost for another two matches. Beat Manchester United, that was quite credible. Um, and then Papi Cissé scored against West Brom. Um, you can really see, obviously, Papi Cissé made a real effect. And um, Papi Cissé still in the squad there. It must have been, is Papi Cissé there? He's not there either. So it must have been after the um, Sunderland game that Papi Cissé went. And as you can see... That is terrible for him, really. Three losses against them teams. Um, and really, he's gone. Wow, that did not take long whatsoever. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, this one is. Um, but let's have a look who we brought in. I, I bet he probably brought... No, he didn't bring anybody in. Wow. Mike Ashley for you. He sent Ronaldo Rolando Arons out. Um, he's made seven appearances. And Lomid, uh, Lom Lubomir Sakta um, out on loan. And what's he done? He's had 11 appearances, but he has been sacked from Newcastle. And that's amazing. I can't quite believe that. But if you look at the manager movements, there's been a lot of sackings um, this season. I mean, Martin has been sacked. Um, what's it's been sacked? Um, Steve McLaren, Chris Ramsey, Ronald Koeman. Sam Allardyce has offered a new job at Everton. Um, Paul Lambert, wow. Well, He'll be sacked before we know. Um, anyway, but the players apparently just lost confidence in Steve McLaren. And that's another job that he got sacked from. And really, I don't see how he's going to really build his career. And that'll be a very interesting one. So, if Steve McLaren does get the job at Newcastle going into the 2015-16 season, could it be like this? 
We never know. We never know at all. It's going to be a different story. So obviously there's a season behind. But you never know. It could be like this if McLaren is hired at Newcastle. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. And if you've got any suggestions what managers to do next, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. I've been reviews to IJ. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I've been reviews to IJ. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.